Hey guys, it's Mike. It's Dan. Welcome to the Double Chen Show. What's up? You know, Dan, ancient Chinese military engineers and scientists were thousands of years ahead of their time. Nearly all of the modern weaponry can be traced back to ancient Chinese roots. That's right. Many of the ancient Chinese discoveries and inventions implored during the dynastic wars were cutting edge and will influence the military powers of the world for hundreds and thousands of years to come. So here are eight of the most terrifying, devastating stating lethal ancient Chinese weapons. Number one, triple crossbow. The ancient Chinese revolutionized warfare for the entire world with the invention of the crossbow in 700 BCE. Basically, a common soldier could now shoot a bow and arrow with ease. Fast forward about a thousand years into the Tang Dynasty and the ancient Chinese built upon the typical crossbow and made it even more lethal. The triple crossbow, as shown in the 11th century military warfare bible, Essentials of Military Arts, was perhaps the ultimate long-range siege weapon. Made of three bows instead of a single one, this 25-foot-long behemoth was capable of launching an enormous 10-foot-long iron-tipped arrow for a distance of nearly one mile. It's kind of like a long-range rifle combined with a catapult. It took a crew of 10 men to operate, and despite its size, it was highly mobile and versatile. The size of the arrow, weight combined with the velocity would surely deliver devastating blows to any city walls, invading ships, or disrupt large armies. Number two, the flamethrower. Influenced by the Greeks who were the first to have been documented to use a flame shooting device, the ancient Chinese combined gunpowder and gasoline or kerosene and invented the penhuo qi or fire spraying machine in 919 AD. It was considered the first true flamethrower because it could produce a steady stream of fire they could unleash onto their enemies. This ancient flamethrower was created by using a double action piston that pumped the flammable liquid out while pulling and pushing the handle on the back. Oh, and it was also attached to a giant chest filled with gasoline, so you know, you'll never run out of fire to spray at your enemies. Having a decent range, probably up to 60 feet, the flamethrower was also versatile, being used on the front lines as well as on ships and to defend. It was truly one of the most terrifying weapons of ancient China. The Germans wouldn't even invent the modern flamethrower until World War I, which was nearly a thousand years later. Number three, 100 missile launcher. Perhaps the most incredible invention of ancient Chinese warfare Fair would be the missile launcher. After the ancient Chinese began industrial production of gunpowder, they combined the aerodynamic properties of arrows with rocket propulsion concepts that would be the basis of our modern day rocket technology to create an ancient version of a projectile missile. The ancient Chinese would continue to innovate new technology, creating even deadlier versions. By the Ming Dynasty, armies were using something called 100 target rocket launchers. Basically, boxes of hundreds of arrows sitting on top of mobile wheelbarrows being launched all at once. Ming armies had thousands of these, creating a rocket arrow barrage on their enemies from anywhere on the battlefield. The most devastating aspect is the enemy troops had no idea where the arrows would land. Number four, giant dragon rocket. The ancient Chinese was basically responsible for inventing the first multi-stage rocket. This deadly weapon was capable of traveling long distances from land or water and then exploding upon reaching the target. This was possible because the ancient Chinese figured out how to create multiple chambers and fuel compartments. To make this weapon even more terrifying, they carved a dragon head and tail and put arrows in the mouth that would shoot out. Basically, this would be the ancient equivalent of an ICBM missile. Number five, explosives such as bombs, hand grenades, and mines. The ancient Chinese realized that if they placed gunpowder inside a metal or ceramic container along with other hard items such as iron pellets or porcelain shards then set it on fire, the results would be an explosion that sent hot sharp metal fragments straight onto the enemy with deadly results. Basically your modern day hand grenade. The first grenades during the Song Dynasty were called Chen Tianlei, basically meaning a thunder that shakes the heavens. The ancient Chinese also realized they could put arsenic or other lethal chemical gases to be released upon explosion, basically chemical warfare. Landmines followed after the invention of sophisticated triggering devices. An unsuspecting enemy soldier would walk over the hidden bomb and trigger an explosion, often sitting pieces of bamboo, wood, shrapnel, and even poisonous powder into their foot, rendering them severely injured or dead, hence the birth of the landmine. 
Catapults and cannons took time to load, where these devices did damage quickly and could take out the people around them. Not to mention the surprise element made it truly terrifying. Number six, massive warships. It is now believed that the ancient Chinese commanded naval armadas that were the largest and most sophisticated in the history of civilization. Evidence suggests that Chinese ships dwarfed European ships by many times. An array of ships were constructed for exploration and war. The ancient Chinese basically built sailing fortresses armed with heavy siege weapons and they were heavily fortified. The largest ancient Chinese ships were believed to be over 400 feet in length. For comparison, the Santa Maria was only 72 feet. No wonder why people now think the ancient Chinese discovered America and the rest of the world before European explorers did. I can't imagine seeing this massive Death Star on water coming towards you. Number seven, unmanned chariot crossbows. There's a legend that dates back to 1090 AD when Lingling Ling District in southern China was attacked by the expanding Han forces. Undermanned and underskilled, the commander of Lingling, Ling, Yang Xuan, created a deadly weapon which didn't require anyone to drive it. The weapon was an unmanned chariot mounted with auto firing crossbows and pulled by a horse. With with a tail yeah, set on fire. The horses, chariots, and bulls were then sent to wreak havoc on the incoming soldiers. This is basically the modern day drone. Finally, number eight, the siege ram. The ancient Chinese version of the Trojan horse is a siege weapon called the cloud bridge or cloud ladder. It's a wooden box on wheels with an extendable ladder so the troops can sit inside and easily scale the city walls upon reaching them. During the Three Kingdoms era, a much larger and more devastating version of the Cloud Bridge was used. It was an enormous assault machine covered in fireproof animal hide, able to carry hundreds of troops completely protected until the ram reached the opposing city walls. The sheer size and strength provided a psychological edge as the inevitable breakthrough of infantry came barreling down virtually unstoppable. So there you go, guys. Those are some of the reasons that the ancient Chinese were often considered the greatest military innovators on earth and their technology really did change history. Absolutely, Mike. Now, let me ask you, which one would terrify you the most? Uh, I think the one where like all those arrows are raining down at me because like I watched these movies like 300 or whatever and they're like just these ring of arrows. I'm like, you know what? I could dodge one. Yeah. Maybe not a hundred. But here's the thing too, like we're not talking about a hundred, we're talking about literally hundreds of thousands. But you know the crazy thing is like, like China just battled each other for centuries, Yeah. right? So nobody really messed with China. Like if a Europeans try to invade China, they would get their butts kicked. Yeah. Like think about this for a sec. And then they still use Chinese invention to come and take us over. You know why though, right? Opium wars. Well, basically the rest of the world got all this technology from China, like the gun, the explosives, yeah. But then like China just was peaceful for like no, hundreds China of years. China instituted what's called Bi Guan Zheng Ce, mm -hmm. which is called we don't want any outside influence. And right. they didn't, their technology didn't keep up, their weaponry didn't keep up. They were still using spears when everybody else was, were using muskets. But this wasn't until much later. And then the Europeans basically knocked they, on the door and was came like- and they were like, oh, oh well, take you over it, now. They, they Imagine like they came, they probably were like, they must have some crazy stuff only to find like they don't have anything. <laughs> but anyways, guys. OPM, what can you do? Stay off drugs, guys. Yeah. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. See you. Later.